In this video, we will discuss what the general pleading requirements are in United States federal courts. By pleading requirements, we mean what does the plaintiff need to include in his complaint in a civil litigation? One way to think about this issue is, should we make it difficult or easy for a plaintiff to start a case in a civil litigation? We can imagine a system where we make it very difficult for a plaintiff to start a civil case. For example, we could have a system that requires the plaintiff to include all of the facts that he is aware of supporting his claim against the defendant. A system with strict pleading requirements could also require the plaintiff to include evidence supporting his claim with documents, photographs, affidavits. This type of system would make it more difficult for plaintiffs to start a case. We can probably assume that the easier it is to start a civil litigation, the more civil litigation we will have. In the United States, as a general rule, it is relatively easy to start a civil litigation. In most cases, the United States federal courts do not impose difficult pleading requirements. Instead, for most cases, there are relatively easy pleading requirements. Rule 8 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure only impose three requirements on a complaint. We will focus on the second requirement that the complaint include a short and plain statement showing that the plaintiff is entitled to relief. What does a plaintiff need to do to include a short and plain statement showing that he is entitled to relief? In 2007, the United States Supreme Court clarified what complaints must include. According to the United States Supreme Court, the complaint must include sufficient factual allegations to show that the complaint is plausible. The complaint does not have to include all facts relevant to the dispute. The complaint does not have to include proof or evidence to demonstrate that the plaintiff will win, but the complaint does need to allege enough facts to show that the claim is more than conceivable, but actually plausible. Legal conclusions are not enough. For example, a plaintiff cannot simply say the defendant owes me money because he intentionally lied about me and hurt my reputation. A court would reject this type of complaint because it does not include the factual allegations to show that the legal conclusion is plausible. For example, the court would ask, what is the factual basis to conclude that the defendant knew that his statement was false. If the facts as alleged are sufficient to make the claim at least plausible, then the complaint is sufficient. There are important exceptions where courts apply stricter pleading requirements, and we'll talk about them in a separate video. If you'd like to discuss pleading requirements or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by the message board. Also, please visit my blog and feel free to send me an email and to submit your comments below.